What's up, y'all? Long time no see, god damn it. So the past three weeks have been pretty hectic for me. Uh, that's why I haven't been uh, posting any content or posting a lot on Facebook groups. Um, between quitting my job that I had for 10 years and then I started remodeling the downstairs floors. Uh, and then I had a lot of jobs that were up in the air. I uh, wasn't sure which one to take. Uh, there for a minute I started one job and then another job called me that I liked better. So it's been it's been really hectic between remodeling the, the floors and uh, the whole work situation. Uh, but the floors are done now and I'm settling into my new job. So hopefully I can start uh, making some uh, content uh, for the channel and being more active in the Facebook groups. Um, but before all this uh, started, uh, before all this ruckus started, uh, my man Eric Losh had sent me a Pena Custom to check out. And he was wanting me to do a review or an overview of it and uh, compare it to the uh, X series. So, this. Uh, this video is long overdue for my man uh, Eric, so I apologize Eric, um, I, like I said he sent it three weeks ago, and I've been keeping in contact with him, you know, telling him that shit's hectic right now, I'll, I'll try to get to the vid uh, as soon as I can, so I, I apologize uh, Eric, and thank you for being cool about having to wait so long man, but here we go, so the knife he sent me, was the Pena Custom DeVille. Now this is coming in uh, titanium scales with a Mokutite clip and the blade is a hand rub of 154cm. Pena logo there. And the X series is called the Paramour. So on the X series I have, this is a CPM M4 blade with titanium handles with Mars Valley uh, carbon fiber inlays. And this was a collaboration with Javi Garcia. So I've had this knife for quite a while now and when this knife dropped they said that they were only doing uh, one run that this uh, model was going to be discontinued I don't know what issues they had uh, with the model or with uh, Riot Riot's the one who is the OEM for this knife so I don't know if Riot had issues uh, making the knife or I don't know what issues they had but they only dropped they only did one drop of this knife and Enrique Peña said get them while you can because it's going to be discontinued and I absolutely love this knife it is fantastic and this is the custom model of it Let me put these I was about the same same length yeah it's identical size to it Let's see that. now I'll get into the uh, comparing them here right off the bat I'm gonna say that this is gonna be one of the only times that I actually prefer the X series over the custom uh, on the titanium scales these are on the custom they are soft they have that soft feel to it but on the X series they're a lot softer they have more of a like a Chris Reeve uh, Sabenza feel to it and I really enjoy that uh, the fit and finish on both of them is excellent. 
Excellent fit and finish. Enrique Peña does an amazing job. On this one, one difference will be the it has uh, barrel spacers versus a uh, back spacer. But for whatever reason, the Riot version feels more. How should I say? It's smoother. The action is better on the on the X series, which the action is good on this one. But it doesn't really drop shut, which I guess I could tune the uh, the pivot. But the action on the um, X series is amazing. Another difference is this has a visible pivot screw, and on the X series. Has that, uh, I guess, what do you call it? Uh, camouflaged or hidden pivot screw. And then it has a screw on the back. So that's another uh, difference in the models. Also, the only thing I, I don't like on the X Series version is this uh, the relief cut out for the lock bar I don't know why they do these uh, like jimping on it and those scales right there I don't know why they insist on doing those so you can feel them um, going in and out of the pocket uh, it's not too bad but you can feel those and on the <clears throat> on the custom they don't they don't have those Uh, the weight, the X series is uh, heavier by a tad bit. This one is a little bit heavier than the custom, and I'm gonna be honest, the they both have great fit and finish, but for whatever reason, the Riot just feels more premium in this case usually it's it's the other way around like usually um, it might be just because this one is full uh, full titanium scales but usually on the uh, Pena customs they do feel more premium than the X series but in this case the Riot made version does feel more premium like I said the action is better on the X series now when I first saw this uh, custom DeVille my man Eric got it from Knife Joy and when I first saw it on Knife Joy I almost uh, I almost pulled the trigger on it so when he said that he would uh, loan it to me I was really really fucking excited because I almost bought this exact one now the price I believe this one went for about a thousand for the custom and the X series it was about 274 I, I believe or this one might have been 300 for this uh, Mars Valley uh, version but for 300 versus a thousand I would much rather go with the X series on, on this model here now my man my man Eric really did uh he used the hell out of this knife now on the blade, it does have some, uh, p uh, what do you call it, pitting marks on it. It is getting some rust on the blade. The scales are scratched up. Uh, the Mokutai clip has some scratches on it. 
Uh, the blade has scratches on it. So my man definitely isn't afraid to use his use his shit. Um, he did offer it to me, um, but with all the with all the scratches and the dings and the pitting on the blade, um, I thought about buying it off of him, but I would have to send it uh, to a buddy of mine, um, Nathan Galloway. I would have had to send it to him to uh, probably stonewash uh, all of it, bring it back to life for me. And I just, with everything going on right now, I just, I don't have time to, I don't have time or money to invest in, in getting this one all fixed up. But it is a beautiful knife. Beautiful custom from Pena himself. But yeah, I had to, uh, I had to pass on this one. Another difference is the front flipper. On the custom, the front flipper is uh, bigger, taller, I mean, versus the X series. But yeah, this one is definitely lighter. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful custom from Enrique Peña. You can get a four finger grip on it. It's a really, it's a really uh, slicey blade. I believe it's a hollow grind on both of them. Actually, the uh, the X series is a flat grind, and the custom is a hollow grind. But it has a really, they're both really slicey. Um, they really have, they both have really thin, uh, thin blades on them. But this one does cut better because it has that hollow grind on it. I will say that I do prefer the taller uh, front flipper on this one versus the X series, which they're both great. But I do prefer the little taller front flipper. But I do prefer the detent on the X series. But yeah, they're both both really great knives. You can't go wrong with with either one of them. But for the money, I would I would choose the uh, the X series over the custom Deville. But yeah, guys, that's uh, my little comparison video here. An overview of the Pena DeVille. Thank you, Eric, for loaning me your knife, man. And again, I'm sorry for taking so long on the, on the video. Life's just been really hectic the past three weeks. But there it is. Pena Custom DeVille.
Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna go drink me a beer and relax after a long day. Peace.